today's show, the divide and conquer strategy that I use for every one of my books. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the show where I, this month at least, am going through talking all about writing. You see, as I'm recording this, we're still in November. Towards the end of November, Thanksgiving is this week, and so that means NaNoWriMo. As you recall, NaNoWriMo is the National Novel Writing Month, or Write Nonfiction in November Month, whatever. Either way, I typically write nonfiction. So I thought that I'd help you by, since I'm the author of now, I think I can say pretty confidently, seven books, assuming that I live to finish off this one, which is so close, like 12,000 words. So I thought that I'd share how I come up with how to do this. As I'm planning out a book, I start and I think, okay, I will write one chapter a day. Each chapter will be the daily uh, 1,667 words. That's what I assume. It doesn't work that way, of course. You know, some are shorter, some are longer, but on average, that's what I'm planning. So if that's the case, I need 30 chapters. That's seems to make perfect sense, a chapter a day. So I've got a forward, so I actually need 29-ish. So what I do is I just go through and think of any topic related to the subject that I'm trying to cover. And I just make a list of those. Then I try and organize them. And then every day I pick one to write. Now, just because they're read in a certain order, doesn't mean they have to be written in a certain order. So there's a couple right now that, quite frankly, I've skipped because they're going to involve more research. And when you're trying to write 50,000 words in a month, it really, speed is of the essence. So what I've done is uh, kind of thinking along the same lines as when you took a standardized test in high school and they said, okay, if you don't know the answer, skip it, you can come back to it. Same thing. If I don't have something to write there, but I've got one of the other chapters that I'm just dying to write, why not write it now? There's no reason that I can't go back and forth. This is the rough draft. So not only does it not have to be perfect, it's wonderful if it's not perfect. That's part of the process. So. I skip around as long as I feel like the subject has been adequately covered. It doesn't matter whether I'm uh, writing it in order or out of order. That's just part of the process. So what I think about is that maybe 50,000 words is a lot, but is 16 167 a lot? Well, maybe it is. If it is, what about, say, around 500 words? If you subdivide each chapter into three, then it becomes 500-ish words, a little more than 500, uh, 530, 540, something like that. And then that gets pretty manageable. And I don't know about you, but going to school and all, I had to write a lot, so I can probably fill up 300 words on any subject. So 500, I can fill in pretty easily on something that I know something about. So that's my process. I don't write stuff that I know nothing about. I write stuff that I've been researching for years and years, that I have my thoughts together on, that I have a lot of knowledge about. That way I don't have to slow down to fill in the gaps of my knowledge because I've already got most of it. 
now for the stuff that I don't know, I'll come back and do that. That's perfectly fine. I also think that it's very, very, very valuable to put notes to yourself in the text so that it doesn't stop you from writing. So I'm putting a lot of scripture in this, a lot from the Bible, but I don't have all the citations memorized. So in Scrivener, which is what I'm writing in, if you saw the first week, you'll know that, I can just put a note by a piece of text, and so I've got a bunch of them that just say citation. And I know that's a scripture citation. So that's another helpful hint to help you write quickly and help you write easily. Just a little bonus tip. I find that I write best when I'm listening to music. So I can't listen to podcasts as I normally would when I'm working because that engages the wrong part of my brain. I'm listening to words and I'm processing them. Well, what I'm doing as I'm writing is I'm listening to what my mind is saying and I'm getting it out into the computer. So that doesn't work, but music works fine for me. So I hope that helps. I hope it helps you in your plan to write the great American novel or write the next great self-help book. Either way, I hope it helps you go out and change eternity. If you'd like, I have uh, some great gifts that I'm offering right now. If anyone wants them, just head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. You can pick the appropriate gift that interests you the most. And make sure you give me the, a good email address because that's how I'm getting it to you is I'm going to send it to you a link through email. So I need that. And if you do that, then I'll get it to you. I hope that helps you. And until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Today, take two.